Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you what's new in Camaro 13.0. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first I'll make copy by placing Ctrl or Command J this layer and uh, this one is the main layer and I'll edit this photo by using the Camaro 13.0. And before that, let's see what's the changes over there. So in filter options go to the camera filter the same as the 12.3 and uh, the changes of the features here the, the color grading options here uh, this is the new feature in the previous version this was not appeared over there we had uh, um, uh, just bleed toning shadow and highlight and that two, two things but in this portion you are getting the properly shadow highlight and mid tone three things for the color grading this one is the rustical change and the advantage for those who are the uh, photo editor another thing is that if you go to the edit panels that means some of panels you don't use ever uh, like me i didn't use the uh, geometry or optics panel and i could just turn off the those things okay and another thing is that suppose you want to import too many raw or camera raw, like uh, raw images at a time you can uh, just drag and drop your photos in photoshop so like this in this panel if you want to uh, get this panel into left side just change it to vertical and you can change the space like this so this one is another advantage those are minor things uh, let's go to the main things of the color grading so at first uh, going to the filter again and camera filter and here is my image and then here the basic portion I'll down the exposure a little bit contrast up highlight a little bit down and the shadow up and the whites a little bit up and the texture a little bit down and that's good and the clarity a little bit down and dehaze i'll make the dehaze like that desaturate that means the vibrance i'll make down and the shadow actually saturation i'll keep like that and the curves i didn't touch the curves color mixture i'll make the color mixture uh, here the primary colors are red yellow and the orange so saturation of the yellow i'll make up just because of upper the eye side you're getting the yellow colors and luminance i'll make it up of the yellow and the red color i'll add some saturation and the hue the hue will be like that and the luminance up and saturation i could make this one more okay fine and now the orange saturation you know at first the hue is the which color will be saturation percentage of the color and luminance the intensity of the color okay fine and here the blue i'll make the luminance of the blue down aqua purple and magenta down and saturation i'll make the blue up purple and the aqua up and now saturation of the orange i'll make it down and the hue of the orange i'll make it a little bit like this so let's see the before and after some dimensions are appearing okay now and uh, color grading options here the three circles and you can just drag those things and you can fix it up and this portion as well okay but i would like to prefer this one by using the uh, like um, a tone or the levels like the lines that means if you get the lines you can give the value over there by according to the color so suppose the shadow portion i want to pick the color like this giving five types or five value for the saturation percentage or i can change color from here it's a, a shadow portion which color will be in the shadow actually 
okay and now if i go to the mid tone so i can change the mid tone color over there okay and the highlight portion which color will be in a highlight i could choose from here so this type of tone it could be so before and after use change you are getting over there so here the dehaze portion i can just do like that okay and hit the ok button okay huge change before and after now i'll have to make the uh, like face more smoothing so in 2021 in photoshop here is some neural filter from here i'll go to the skin smoothing options and here i'll add some blur like that and smooth like this so it could be not too much blur okay and hit the ok button so you are getting the changes like that and going to the levels options from here you can change the levels like that okay fine and then i'll select these three things making it like convert to smart object and then go to the filter and make collection color effects profile from here i will add another um, preset or filter whatever it is and it will make your photographs more amazing so from here what kind of image or what kind of filter you want you can use that i'm using the cross processing options and from here sub filters or sub categories okay that's good and hit the okay button it will take time to provide you the before and after drastical change in the photo and if you want you can desaturate this one go to the hue saturation options little bit desaturate how to get this uh, camera 13.0 so it's too much easy uh, in adobe photoshop or adobe website you will find out uh, like that and i'll provide you the link in my video description so camera installer 13.0 and here two types of uh, software that means if you are the user of the windows you can download this windows file and if you are the user of the mac you can use the this mac version so you can just uh, download this one and normal type software you can install it in, you know, like uh, next 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 and you will get the update of your previous camera and you can you can enjoy these type of amazing features which is the color grading most important features in the photoshop for the uh, photo editors and other stuff other those who like to edit the photo or enhance the color of the photo so hope that you learn a lot from this video if it did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i am asmr signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye